Okay, so welcome to the next tutorial here. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how to make a duct tape pencil like cup. Much like this one. It holds a lot of pencils. It's going to probably be a little bit rounder than this. But I just put like some random little rocks at the bottom to hold everything down. But I have lots of pencils in here so it kind of evens it out. So let's get started. The materials you'll need is at least one roll of duct tape. Again, I always like to use two. A ruler may come in handy, an exacto knife, and or scissors. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, first what you're going to do is you're going to get some an object. You're going to get an object that helps you um, figure out how round you want it. Like for this, I just kind of used a random object. I actually used a little like cup that I had so I can make a perfect circle for the bottom. But I decided I don't want to do with, use a cup for this tutorial. So I'm going to make it big enough so it fits around this roll of duct tape. So it's going to be a pretty fat pencil cup. But I think it will hold a lot of pencils. So now, so right now get a template that you're going to use. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to start at one end of your object. It should be around objects, objects because that's what this tutorial's on. Okay. And you might need packaging tape. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. You might need clear packaging tape. Or you could just use a different color duct tape to close it. But I like packaging tape. Okay, so you're going to put your finger where you start at one end of the duct tape. And you're just going to measure it, okay? Let me get it the one at the beginning of the roller. And you're just going to measure all the way around this roll of duct tape, okay? Ah, wait, that kind of failed. Okay, so actually what I'm going to do is put a little tiny mark. Oh! Sorry about that. I accidentally just bumped my camera. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I'm actually just going to get a marker. And I'm just going to mark on the cardboard of this roll. I'm not going to actually mark on the duct tape. So I know where I actually started. And then I'm just going to take my ruler. And I'm going to measure this. You probably can't see what I'm doing, but... It's about 10 inches around, so I'm just going to cut out an 11 inch long piece, okay? So out of your first color, or design, you're going to make an 11 inch long, or however wide around your object was, okay? So it's, mine's going to be 11 inches, so I'm going to cut out an 11 inch long piece right here. Okay, let me just... Straighten it out at the bottom. And then this is also where a ruler would come in handy. You want to make sure that the piece is three and a half inches high. So it will only take two pieces of duct tape. Okay, so three and a half inches tall. Okay, good round number. Okay, now I'm just going to cut it. And right above it, I'm going to put down my second color. Above it, I'm just going to cut out two 11 inch long pieces, but I'm not going to stack them on top of each other. I'm just going to lay them out so I can put them on the sticky side of my mustache duct tape. Okay, so I already kind of explained the next step. I'm going to put my, this blue on top of the mustache duct tape. So I'm actually going to pick up this duct tape sheet of mustache. And we're actually going to put a trim on it. So if you don't know how to do it, you can watch my how to put a brim on duct tape video. Or you can just stay tuned and I'm going to kind of give you guys the gist of how to do it. So right now you're just going to stick on one piece just how you normally would. Sticky side to sticky side. Nice, even, set down. Okay, now this next piece. What I like to do is just get it. And I'm going to turn it so it's sticky side up facing towards me. Okay, you can see that right there in the camera. Then I'm going to get my mustache duct tape, and I'm going to turn it mustache side up. And I'm actually going to lay it on so there's still a little bit of stickiness at the top right there. Sorry, I kind of went out of the camera peripheral. And then I'm just going to fold down the stickiness. Okay, so right there, there you go. So you have your sheet. Now you're just going to trim off the stickiness. Of course, if you don't have any, don't do any trimming. Sorry, I can't really. There's 
my scissors keep sticking to it, so I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife for this part. Just cut out that little bump. The right here. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys have them yours, but I kind of have a little open sticky part because I messed up. So you guys can just cut out a piece. Sorry about that. I just made a little mistake right there. Nothing that I can't fix. Okay. So now that you have this, you're going to get some clear tape. And I would suggest to get it so it's seven inches high. So it'll or seven and a half. So you'll be able to wrap it all the way around if you of course made it three and a half inches high. Okay, now you're gonna find the start of your clear tape, which I just found mine. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to. But I am able to. Darn it, it won't peel up. Okay, so ah, here we go. So I'm gonna just lay down on my board. Seven and a half inch long piece. Okay, right there. And then I'm gonna cut it to seven and a half inch mark. Fold this piece so I can find it a lot easier next time. Okay. Now I'm gonna clear up clear up. I'm gonna peel up my sticky piece. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around the two sides. Like much like so. I'm just going to stick it halfway on this clear tape. There's still stickiness right there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I promise there is. Now what I do is I just kind of fold it a little bit, but you don't want to put a crease in it. And then you just overlap them. Just simple, easy, just like that. And then while it's folded, just tape down the rest of the, just stick down the rest of the clear tape that you have that should be a little bit left over. Okay. Right there, that looks nice. You probably can't see it, but actually you kind of can because it's kind of shiny, but it's clear tape. You want to be able to stick your object in it. Okay, it should be kind of snug, just so like it fits. Okay, now what we're gonna do is you're gonna make a duct tape sheet. You're gonna use both your colors. Okay, and you're just going to make a duct tape sheet where you can stick your template on top. So mine, I'm going to make three and a half inches tall by, I don't know how wide this is, but looks like four inches. Okay, so there we go. We're not going to do any brim on this because the glue, on in my case, will be on the inside and the... Um, mustache will be on the outside. Okay, now this part starts to get a little tricky. Okay, what I'm going to do is just peel up the sheet. Sorry for I get ahead of myself. Peel up the sheet and stick down this. Oh, forgot to cut it. Four inch mark. Okay, and I'm just going to stick it down like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, you should get a pen for this part. I do have, sorry, I should have already had a pen out, but wait real quick. I don't have a pen in that pouch, in that pencil case that I just showed you guys. But what you're going to do is you're going to stick the object on the, uh, you're going to actually stick the object, like lay the object on top of your duct tape sheet there. I don't, can't find my pen, so that kind of stinks, but, yeah, that's what you're going to do. I really didn't want to use Sharpie, but here, so this pen doesn't work. This is part of my tutorial on how to make a flower pen. It looks really bad. It doesn't mark, so I'm just going to make a little indent. I don't, you can use your X-Acto knife, but I don't really want to use it right off the bat, just in case um, I mess up and I don't want to cut the object. So you're just going to trace right over that line and you're going to make it look as much of a circle as you can as you're tracing. You don't want to make the circle smaller than what it actually should be. Okay, you can make it a little bit bigger but don't make it too much bigger. Then it won't fit and you'll have to do trimming which is really annoying to do. 
Okay, so right here I popped out my circle. So it's a pretty nice looking circle, moustache. Okay, so sadly we can't use anything with this little extra. Like I guess you could make a picture frame out of it and you just put a picture in it. But I probably won't do that, so I just tossed it. Okay, now what you're going to do is the inside color of your little bottomless cup. You're going to cut out, let's call it a four inch long piece. A, uh, yeah, four inch long piece. And then cut it in half so it's two inches. And then pick it up and actually rip it in half. So now you'll have four about one inch thick pieces of duct tape. Okay. So what you're going to do is on the blue or whatever color you cut out on that side, you're just going to stick these on nice and even like this. Don't know if you guys can see that, but here, just like that. So I stuck the four pieces on. I'm just going to pick up this roll. And I'm going to find my cup. Okay, and then at the bottom of it, I'm going to light so the top is at the bottom. And I'm just going to stick that piece of duct tape right like that. And I'm going to have to try and form this cup to the shape of, to the shape that the bottom is at. Okay, just like this. Okay, next, however long it was, however, yeah, however long you made it, you're going to um, cut out that length, like however wide you made it, like 11 inches I made mine. And then you can rip it in half, and then you're just going to wrap it around the little edge right here. You're just going to nicely wrap it around. And then you're just going to fold it down around the cup. So the bottom will look a little cinchy or, or whatever you want to call it. But it should look fine in the end. Okay. So there you go. Now you have your very own duct tape pencil ho holder. The bottom looks a little weird so you can just add more duct tape on it to fix it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks for watching.